According to analytical psychology, there are four functions that have a strong influence upon the ego's orientation as it undertakes its adaptive tasks and requirements. Sensation tells us that something exists. Thinking tells you what it is. Feeling tells you whether it is agreeable or not. Intuition tells you whence it comes and where it goes to. Two of these functions work in a rationalistic way, while the other two work in a way that has nothing to do with reason. You might be thinking, why is feeling rational? This could be because you confuse it with emotion. Feeling is the evaluating function concerned with the value of a thing. For example, it tells us that pizza is okay and pain is not okay. And Jung thinks this is compatible with reason. These four functions or psychological equipments are shared by everyone. But we differ from each other based on our ego's preferred combination of functions. While one particular function is the primary one, there is another complementary one for balance. Meanwhile, the other two functions remain in the unconscious and become the attributes of the shadow, the lower self. Besides these four functions, Jung argued that the ego has an inborn genetic tendency to prefer one particular type of attitude, either extroverted and is oriented primarily towards the outer world, or introverted and primarily concerned with the inner world. The combination of these two attitudes and the four functions make it theoretically possible to describe eight psychological types. I will talk about the four functions in more detail and give examples of each of these types in the following videos. Tune in for more coming.